From legendary works of art like The Last Supper to The Mona Lisa, here are nine secrets hidden within famous paintings. Number 9. Hans Holbein's Skull Illusion In 1533, Hans Holbein made a painting known as The Ambassadors. And if you look at the painting, there doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary, as it's just two men standing in a room. But as we discovered later on, there's a bit more going on here than you think. Because at the bottom of the painting, there is a spot that looks like a splotch of paint ruining the shot. But if you look closely at it, you'll notice that it looks like something very familiar. And your instinct would be right because that splotch is actually a distorted skull. It's unclear the method that Hans used to paint the skull on there, but it would have been quite a feat in those times. Which brings up the other question. Why did he try and hide the skull in the painting? To get that answer, we have to look at the man on the left side of the painting, Jean de Dintville. He was apparently a very morbid man. One of his personal mottos was Momento Mori, which translates to Remember, Thou Shalt Die. The intent here is that the skull with its elongated shape wouldn't mean much when you see the painting straight on. But when you would hang it on the wall next to the door and you entered the room, your first sight would be the skull in its correct proportion due to how you're viewing it and remind you that death is always waiting for you. Number 8. Picasso's Hidden Woman Picasso is easily one of the most famous and respected painters in history. He was able to paint in many phases or periods and as such created a wealth of spectacular art that is beloved and analyzed to this day. But in 1904, despite his talent, he was struggling financially, a common theme with now legendary artists. Anyway, with Picasso, he wanted to keep painting but didn't have the money to get all the supplies he needed, such as canvas. So instead of waiting to buy more canvas, he painted over other images that he had made in order to save money and time, one of which can be found in The Old Guitarist, where if you look just above the neck of said guitarist, you'll find the face of a woman. This was debated until 1998, when an analysis of the painting using infrared was done and it revealed that there was indeed a painting of the woman on the original canvas. The pigments that were used in the paint absorbed the light emitted to showcase the original work. Furthermore, some years later on, an x-ray scan was done on the painting and it revealed the full picture as it were. It turns out that the original painting was one of a mother, a child, and a horse. But Picasso apparently didn't have high hopes for it, so he drew over them. Fun fact, many other Picasso paintings did this same technique. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number 7. The Wrong Ear If you know the history of art, then the name Vincent van Gogh will eventually come up. While he was mocked in his own time for his unique art style, it was his art that helped shape much of what we know as art now. And yet, when you think about one of his most famous portraits, one that has Vincent van Gogh drawing himself in three quarters style with his ear cut off, you'll notice something rather odd. The painting is known as self-portrait with bandaged ear, is displayed all over the world, and the picture shows that his right ear is cut off, which may seem fine, except that van Gogh cut off his left ear, which, given the detail and power of Van Gogh's style, seems like a rather basic mistake to make. He would likely have scrapped any piece that didn't meet his standards, so why did he make this error? The answer lies not in the painting, but the perspective of Van Gogh himself. No, this is not a mind-bending thing. Rather, it's that when he was painting his portrait, he was looking at a mirror, so everything was flipped, including which ear was the one that was missing. Number 6. Mirror, Mirror In the 15th century came a painting that would baffle people for many centuries to come. The painting in question was the Arnolfini portrait by Jan van Yick. When you gaze at it, you'll see a very simple scene, one where a merchant, Giovanni Arfoni, is with his wife in a room with various items around them. In fact, van Yick is praised for not just the painting, but the very accurate and realistic details that the painting showcases which is part of its charm. But for those who want to have their minds blown, you need to go and look at the circular mirror that is between the two people. Because somehow, not only did the artist create a near-perfect reflection of what the mirror would see if the picture was taken, 
but it's believed that the blue figure you see in the reflection is Jan van Eyck himself. This is only bolstered by the fact that just above the mirror is writing and it says, Jan van Eyck was here, 1434. It's an impressive feat from top to bottom. Not the least of which is because the fact that this was done on a painting that's only two and a half feet high. That's not a lot of room to put in all that detail, and yet he did it. Number five, Caravaggio's Dark Secret. Biblical paintings are easily one of the most foundational things an artist can do. And in the case of the man known as David, he has been painted over and over again over the years, including by an Italian artist known as Caravaggio, who did a painting called David with the Head of Goliath. This painting feels fairly straightforward and aptly named, but if you were to look up pictures of Caravaggio and look at the painting again, you'll notice that the Goliath looks a lot like Caravaggio. So why would he not just put himself in a painting he made, but also be the one who died at the hands of David? In the eyes of many, this translates as an act of confession. Because Caravaggio was known for being a violent man, and in 1606, he killed a man in a brawl with his sword. The Pope ordered him to die, so Caravaggio fled Rome. The painting is meant to be a kind of atonement or confession for his crime but we'll never truly know. Number four, where is Brugel? If you take a look at the painting, Netherlandish Proverbs, you wouldn't think twice about calling what you see and what you don't see. Kind of reminds me of a Where's Waldo situation. Here's the thing though, the name of the piece is incredibly accurate because within this painting is 112 sayings and proverbs that were popular in the Netherlands at the time. That's an incredible amount of detail and work to put into such a thing, don't you think? Granted, some of the phrases that are used in this piece aren't used anymore, such as one piece of the painting which references watching bears dance, which means to be starving. But even with these archaic phrases, it's a wonder to behold just how much was put into this piece of art. You might want to test your knowledge by trying to figure out which people are meaning which sayings. Number three. The White Ermine. Leonardo da Vinci has made multiple paintings that have secrets in them, and one of them comes from his piece known as Lady with an Ermine. This portrait in name and style looks very straightforward, but in 2013, a special scan was done on the painting using layer amplification technology, and the result was finding out that da Vinci painted this piece in three different stages. Or perhaps more accurately, he painted it three different times. By looking at the layers, we see a shifted position of the woman, and when you get down to the base layer, it's revealed that the original intent of the portrait was to be just of a lady, and there's no ermine in sight. The second layer exposed the ermine, but in a gray and more wild form. Only in the third layer did it come together to look like what you see now. Number two, the musical Last Supper. Continuing on with da Vinci and his works, Let's go to one of his most famous works in The Last Supper. This is a reference to the biblical tale of Jesus Christ having a meal with his followers one last time before his arrest and death. Many people have claimed to have found secrets hidden within the painting that gives clues to all sorts of things, but they've all been debunked. This is until Italian musician Giovanni Maria Palla came forward and noted something rather odd in regards to the piece. Mainly, if you were to put the five bars of a musical scale on the piece, and then look at the hand positions of the disciples and the pieces of bread, they seem to create a melody that can be played. Coincidence? Possibly, but when you actually play the melody as it's intended in the piece, you get a 40-second melody that very much sounds like a religious hymn. Was da Vinci trying to make something musical alongside his artistic masterpiece? Does this song actually have another hidden meaning other than sounding like a church song? If it was just meant to be a reference to a song, why did he put it there? Or is it just a coincidence? It's impossible to know the full truth, but many are speculating on it to this day. Though it should be noted that aside from being a painter, sculptor, and inventor, da Vinci was a musician. Number one, the Mona Lisa. When you hear the phrase secrets hidden in the Mona Lisa, the immediate thing you go to is the da Vinci code, but that has been debunked time and time again by various credible sources. However, that doesn't mean that the Mona Lisa doesn't have a few secrets left to hold. After all, many people still wonder who the Mona Lisa is painted of, 
including some wild theories that da Vinci painted a female version of himself. There are two secrets hidden in the Mona Lisa's portrait, which is much smaller than you might think. The first is on the left eye of Mona Lisa, her actual left eye. You'll see LV inscribed into it in a rather microscopic fashion, which shows the impressive skills of da Vinci to be able to put it there so accurately. But in 2015, a shock was delivered to the world of art, as there was another secret of the portrait. There was another painting hidden under the Mona Lisa, one that had a very different woman in a very different position from the Mona Lisa we have now. After observing it, artists agree that this was likely a first draft of the painting, and not unlike Picasso, he just painted over the canvas to save time and money and just get to the painting at hand, showing that many artists did what they need to do in order to get the paintings they made done. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this look at these paintings with secrets hidden within them? Did you know about some of these secrets before watching the video? Do you know about any other paintings that should be on the list? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.